What's the crack lads? Welcome to part three of our ultimate legend wish list, and we will like to see these legends in eFootball 2024. You seem to be enjoying these. If I've missed any of your favorite players, let me know towards the end of the video. Let's crack on. All right, so we're going to start with an Italian legend, Zambrotta. I feel like there's a lot of left or right backs, full backs in general, that are missing from the game. And obviously, once you have got one of the top tier guys, you don't really switch out from your Cafus or Carlos's or Davies or somebody that is able to go up to a high level. Zambrotta would be nice. He obviously has a good history behind him as well. I think he'd be a really key addition. We also have Aguero, so Sergio Aguero, obviously a Manchester City player, broke my heart as a United fan that year when he scored a winner to get their Premier League uh, victory campaign. But listen, what an unbelievable player, always one of the best players in Pez. Going back into that series would be a nice kind of addition um, and be able to bring Aguero in to kind of break up that Romario Romanegi kind of uh, meta. And with that as well, we also have Buffon. I I'm surprised they haven't released a Buffon card already. They did release one last a couple of months ago um, for last year, but he wasn't that good. And I would like to see like a goat version of Buffon, one of the best goalkeepers of all time. I would say him and Casillas are probably the two that get name dropped the most. Obviously, you've got really good keepers in the game at the moment. So I definitely think Buffon deserves his spot there. Now, this is a bit of a strange one, right? Tim Cahill, obviously kind of maybe pandering to a certain fan base or a certain section of fans that would like to see Tim Cahill in. But I do like to have kind of some, I suppose, realistic. There's a couple of unrealistic that I don't think will be able to come, but this is a realistic one that you could add in. And, you know, if you've got the likes of Jack Wilshire coming in and those that were added, I don't see why Tim Cahill couldn't feature either. You know, it'd be a nice addition. Now, this is more of a kind of a pie in the sky one, right? This is an ultimate wish list. As I said, this is part three. So we have covered pretty much every player I would like to see in now. Eusebio is a fantastic option, I think, if you were to have some old school. Now, I know, obviously, with EAFC, they're going to have legends and icons and all that. So, again, this is a wish list more so than anything. But I do think that you could get some of these older style players in. You would imagine that it would be easier to do so. Speaking of newer players, then, we have got Vincent Company, One of the best captains of all time. One of the best center backs of all time, I suppose, that played for City. Again, I'm not a City fan. But I do appreciate that they had an unbelievable squad um, and company doing a great job as well, managing now as well. He would be a great addition. I think that they always need more defenders in the game. And then we have a little bit of a personal choice, Pato, right? Specifically Pez Pato. Now, what I mean by Pez Pato is this guy was one of the best Master League boys. If anyone doesn't know what Master League was or if you're a newcomer to the channel or if you're a newcomer to the eFootball franchise and you've never really played Pez, um, then obviously Pato was uh, a, a beast in career mode, which was the Master League as it was known in Pez. It was called career or Master League, uh, pretty much an offline career mode where you play true. Um, and then also Raquel, Raquel May. So Raquel May is actually featured before he could be a returning legend. He could be a returning epic. Um, let's see. I always feel like that there's a lot of attacking midfielders, but a lot of the attacking midfielders are similar, right? So I think Raquel May would be a very unique player. It'd be cool to see him get the same treatment if they do increase the player ID and if they do actually make the players a little bit, you know, different. We also have John Terry, right? So this is a controversial choice, I suppose. I personally wouldn't, it wouldn't really be on my wish list, but I mean, I didn't want to put in a load of Manchester United players. We could have put in Ferdinand. We could have put in, um, you know, we could have put in Ferdinand. We could have put in Vidic. We could have put in a lot of players that are in the Premier League. Uh, Hippie, Jamie Carragher, any of those. But I do think Terry, because of his history with Pez, it would be nice to have him and Henri in it. And then also we have the ultimate R9. So I think this is probably, I would say this is top of everybody's list, lads, R9. What a player. He was previously in Pez, in the Pez series. He was, I still remember that announcement and hearing about that before it was officially unveiled um, at, a, at an event that we were at where it was like, boom, boom, boom. Three of these legends are coming. Henri, Ronaldo, Baggio, all of these guys. So um, yeah, I definitely think he could be a key one to get and it would absolutely be, I mean, it would probably be the most popular card on the market, I would say, if they did it. And then last but not least, I think it's time to give Benzema a goat card as well. Listen, a lot of the time, Benzema was playing with Real Madrid when Ronaldo was there and they were winning everything. People were saying, oh, Ronaldo is still the top dog. He's the main man. But I think Benzema has really, really, really shown that he is one of the deadliest club strikers to have ever played for Madrid. And with the history they have for number nines and goal scorers, 
that's an incredible feat. So I do like to think that he would get a good version of the card, even though he's not retired yet. It could be something to watch. So let me know, right? This is part three. If you've missed part one or two, go back and check them out. If I've missed any legend, maybe I'm just my football knowledge, maybe my wish list is poor in comparison to who you would have. If I've missed anyone that you would like to see, I am going to be doing a dedicated uh, subscriber one. And we're going to be feeding all these back as to like our ultimate wish list to eventually maybe have like a hundred um, that we could pick out of. So if I've missed anyone, let me know. Get in touch in the comments below or on the Discord, which is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe.